Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adriana and this channel is dedicated to one of my favorite hobbies, that is fragrances. Today I'm going to talk about another fragrance from Corris that is called Cashmere and Kumquat. Here you can see the bottle. Here you can see the name of the company. It's a Greek company that was founded in 1996 and uh, in Athens in Greece. And they are very famous for their uh, homeopathic, homeopathic products and also the cosmetic products. And uh, most of their products are um, uh, with less chemicals and more natural ingredients. So here you can see it's under the toilet. Here is the name of the, 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 the fragrance. It's called Cashmere and Kumquat. And here they usually write about the top notes, the heart notes, and the middle notes of the fragrance. And here you can see the bottle. It's uh, made of glass, so it's a little bit heavy and it's a light brown as you can see and the top is a plastic top sometimes it's difficult to take it out but today it was all right i'm gonna spray it now on my wrist two sprays i'm gonna sense the scent oh i love it I can sense the citruses uh, of the, the first, the top notes. Yeah, there are three. Here it, it is a list of uh, the notes. So here it says uh, that there are three fruits on it, three citruses fruits. And I can sense uh, very citrusy. So it's uh, kumquat, orange and uh, mandarin. So, kumquat, uh, I didn't know kumquat from before, so I had to look for it. Uh, kumquat is um, like a small orange, a little bit bigger than an olive. And it says that um, it's uh, grown, uh, you can find it everywhere in the wilderness uh, in China. It's a Chinese fruit. Uh, and the, the, the skin of the fruit is where the sweetness uh, is very concentrated and the pulp is tart and bitter. So when you eat this fruit, uh, you eat the whole fruit because the sweetness uh, is on the skin. This was just a curiosity. Uh, really, really amazing. I loved it. I, I could sense this, uh, that there is mandarin and uh, orange, but I, I'm not so familiar with kumquat, how, how it smells, but uh, it is sweet. So maybe it's because of the skin of the kumquat. Maybe they used the skin oil. It, it, it's usually like that. The oils of the, the, the citruses are concentrated on the, the skin. Now I can start sensing the middle notes or the heart notes and it's two of my favorite flowers that I can sense the jasmine and also the orange orange blossom. Really loved it. Amazing. And also there is almond on the heart notes, the middle notes. The two flowers uh, are really, really balanced. I loved it. And the, 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 the base notes, uh, I, I couldn't sense, uh, wait a little bit, but the base notes that are listed, they are vanilla and also cedar wood and uh, cashmere, of course. And, and, and these three... Uh, notes they usually give uh, the, the the sweetness and the, um, the softness the muskiness uh, there is no musk but the cashmere mixed with the cedar wood it gives a little bit of muskiness on the scent i can sense now the vanilla and the cedar wood it's really beautiful. I'm going to wear this uh, during the spring. I live in the Northern Hemisphere, Brazilian living in Norway. And uh, this uh, scent, this fragrance is really perfect for this, this spring because it's uh, sweet and flowery and a little citrusy. It's 
amazing amazing uh during the summer you can wear it but um, probably in the evening i would say uh, because of the sweetness i think during the day can be a little too sweet but during the spring it's perfect for any time of the day or any occasion i loved it another curiosity about this uh, the toilette is that uh, it's uh, very similar to alien from thierry mugler i sensed the scent of alien uh, once i tested on the tester in the in a store and i thought it was uh, too strong for me it stayed um, with that intensity of um, all the notes i think during the whole day so i i tried to wash it off because it was so strong i started getting a little bit bothered by it um but it didn't go away so i had to i had to you know digest the the alien uh, on my skin because uh, I have a very sensitive skin and uh, so I like, um, I prefer all these uh, fragrances that are not so loud. Uh, I tend to like more Eau de Toilette than uh, Eau de Parfum, but sometimes uh, Eau de Parfums can, can be milder. But the Alien uh, from Thierry Mugler, it's beautiful, lovely. I love all the ingredients, all the notes from that, that, that per per perfume, but... Um, I think it was very loud on my skin. Uh, so this is uh, an option for those that would like like less silage or projection um, and a moderate uh, longevity. The, about five hours you can have from this one, uh, from uh, Kashmir and Kumquat. And um, it's not so, it doesn't project like more than three meters i would say uh one meter is fine and people can sense your scent but uh so it's a very delicate nice uh, perfect for the spring it's not gonna bother other people uh, you're gonna be elegant and discreet uh with this scent and it's a beautiful 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 scent i loved it it's one of my favorites i'm gonna wear during the spring spring 22 and uh yeah that's it this is the scent of the day cashmere and kumquat so if you like my channel uh please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can follow up to all my um uh, fragrance reviews my future fragrance reviews it's a pleasure talking about that and um, don't forget to write some comments uh, about uh, what you think of uh, this uh, scent if you have it if you own it and um, you can give me some tips from other uh, Kohi's fragrances as well I'd love to try others so thank you for today and uh, hope you have a great time Bye-bye. See you next time.